Hi, my name is Marty. I work for Salon Republic. I'm in Studio 1A, and today I'm going to show you how to mix color for color retouches. So what you're going to need, you're going to need your tint brush, your mixing utensil, and you can also just simply use your tint brush. It's just a little quicker to use a whisk. You're going to have your bowl. Um, some hair color requires actual precise measurements, not just a quarter tube or a half a tube. It requires grams and I choose to use a scale to measure out complete accuracy. So if I'm using 25 grams of color, I'm going to use 25 grams of developer. Every color line is different as to how you actually mix that. You're always going to follow manufacturer's directions to find out the procedure for mixing individual hair color. So you've done your color formulation in your head, you've got your color and you're going to just apply a tube key or some efficient way of removing the color from the tube so you're not wasting and you get accurate measurements. Each tube is two ounces that I use, so it's broken up into increments of four, a quarter tube times four gives you one tube. So we're gonna use a half a tube of color, which is gonna be 25 grams. We're gonna turn on our scale, so it's at zeroed out with the weight of the bowl not being affected by how you're gonna mix the hair color. And you will just squeeze in your 50, 25 grams of color for a half a tube. Being neat and efficient all the time. You can either zero out your scale so it's back at zero, so you can pour in 25, or you can just add 25 to 25, giving you 50. And you're adding your developer. And at that point, you can either use your whisk or your tint brush to stir the color again. Using a whisk is much quicker and much more efficient. My name is Marty, and that's how you mix color for color retouches.